So question 51 from the reading, we're asked to find the asymmetric or chiral carbon atoms in the molecule shown below. Uh, on the homework, the example is just the line uh, structure. So I've drawn the, the complete, the full um, structure. And so a chiral carbon, a chiral carbon has four different substituents connected to it, right? Four different branches. And so if I take a look at this carbon right here, I've got a hydrogen, I've got a methyl group. I've got all the rest of the molecule to the right and all the rest of the molecule to the left. So that's four different branches, right? This isopropyl is different than hydrogen, which is different than methyl, which is different than the rest of the chain. So that makes this carbon right here chiral. Um, the first carbon, the second carbon aren't chiral because they're symmetrically substituted. I've got two methyl groups, right? I've got two hydrogens. So this, um, this carbon is not chiral, it's got two hydrogens, not chiral because I have uh, two methyl groups. To be chiral, you have to be sp3 hybridized for carbon. So carbon is sp2 here, can't be chiral. Symmetrical, and then here's our last chiral carbon. I've got a fluorine, I've got hydrogen, I've got a methyl group, and then I've got the rest of that chain. So that makes this carbon chiral as well because all four of those things are different. Um, and so again, probably that, that full structure, seeing the full structure made it a little bit easier to identify the chiral carbons that we're going for.